Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm over at the newest community in the Kestrel Village called Falcon Crest. And I am doing a tour of all the model homes. They have three of them to choose from. They just recently opened up maybe a few weeks ago. And I like this Kestrel Village. I like the views that it has. It has beautiful city views, but it also has, look at that, nice mountain views. Anyway, this community is going to have about 110 home sites and um, most of the lots around 6,000 square feet. This is the Merlin Plan 2 and this one has it says around 2146 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths, a super island, a covered patio, and a three-bay tandem garage. They also have four move-in ready, quick move-in homes. So if you're interested in buying this community, give me a call. I can help you out. Oh yeah, so the square footage is anywhere between 2146 to 2334. Starting prices, I don't know because on the sheet it has the price for the ones that are for sale right now. The lot premiums are anywhere between 15,000 to um, 69,000. Well, it's kind of dark in here, sorry guys. The lights aren't working or in yet. I have not toured this model yet. So you have the two bedrooms over here. Let's go in this one first. Oh, it feels good in here though, let me tell you. <laughs> it is hot. Oh, nice, this has its own private bathroom. I like that, or no, is it gonna be Jack and Jill? Let's see. Yep, it's a Jack and Jill, which will go to the other bedroom. This has the upgraded texture wall. Um, and what that means is that the standard is usually the orange peel. I think this is called the Santa Fe. So that's an extra upgrade when you buy. I like that it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. You can have a door here to lock so when someone's showering. And this looks like the standard a tub shower insert. This is what it comes with. And the gray cabinets with the quartz countertops. Ah, oh, it feels great in here. It's perfect for kids. It's a good size. Feels really good. I like the layout. Let's see what else to talk about. HOA. HOA in this community is 55. It says 55. I think it's 57. 55 or 57 for Summerlin West and 82 for this community. It is not a gated community. So it says a total of 137. I thought Summerlin West was 57. Maybe that's Summerlin North. Yep, that is Summerlin North. I love these floors. Beautiful. So this is the open, let's see, the flex space. So you can convert this, I'm sure, into another bedroom. I like it. I like this floor plan. I like the feel. Look at this kitchen. Uh, uh, let's go this way first. Then you got another full or three quarters bath right here. Good size laundry room. The garages are locked. And then another bedroom here. And the rooms are a good size. It feels it feels good. Sized. It doesn't feel small. I really like this. Very nice. And these floors are to die for. Missing the fridge. Love me double ovens. Pantry's a decent size. Now this glass is an upgrade. So that wouldn't come with it. Uh, the quartz countertops, I'm sure the cabinets are an upgrade as well. They did the same thing here. I would prefer to have a microwave down below then up protruding out like that. I think it just looks funny, but that's me. Love the tile that they selected here. And I don't know if these are upgraded appliance package, what comes, but I like how they extended this, which is not standard. Um, and then of course the fireplace is always an upgrade. Basically pretty much is anything you see in a model home is upgraded. They may put a few standard stuff, but for the most part, Everything is upgraded. Now, when you buy a new construction home where you don't have to select the options, then 
the standard comes with flooring throughout or carpeting throughout and then tile in the kitchen, bathroom, laundry rooms. Everywhere else is carpeting. For me, I would spend my money on flooring, if, if need be, carpeting in the ba bedrooms, but everywhere else the same type of flooring, uh -huh, just to be consistent throughout. Now they're gonna charge you upgrades for the fixtures, the door handles, even, well, this comes standard, the edging of the um, walls, but then this is more of a traditional baseboard without the square. So all of those selections are extra. And if you want a spa-like shower, this is extra. This is nice though, this is a nice size bathroom. I'm sure you have an option of either doing a tub shower combo. Now, a lot of these builders for a while there, this community just recently opened up and they were doing a lot of what's called spec homes or quick move-ins. This one has four right now, that's quick move-ins. Um, and all the options were selected and these prices are what they are. Now there is some type of incentives going on. Um, I'm not fully aware of what exactly the incentives are because the agent wasn't there, but my clients just recently bought in this community and I do believe they got three or 4% towards closing costs and they got some bunch of other incentives and they were able to negotiate some in price. So if you're thinking about buying a new construction home, it's always best that you come with an agent that has experience working with the new home sales. Yep, they don't let you out. This is a good size backyard. What else did I miss? So the HOA, the SIDS are $531 semi-annually. And um, they have the three different floor plans to choose from. The earnest money deposit is from $20,000. And lot premiums, I think I mentioned that, is between $15,000 and $69,000. If you're thinking about buying new construction in Summerlin, I am your Summerlin new home sales expert. I sell a lot of new construction here in Summerlin. Please give me a call at 702-370-5112. That's dark in there. As always, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Peace out, folks, and I'll see you on the flip side. Let's roll.